All right, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Jim. Fantastic. I'll go ahead and uh, call the meeting to order for the Committee of the Whole tonight. Uh, we have just uh, one item on our agenda, and that's the renaming of the Senior Center. And I see we have Kelly Beamer in the room. I'm in the virtual room. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do um, after Kelly takes it over, or maybe right before, is uh, hand the uh, chair duties over to uh, Council Member Prince, uh, since it'll be easier for him to probably track folks in the room, too, if that's all right with everyone. So, so with that, I'll, the gavel is yours, sir. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Kelly, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Kerman and all the council members. Great to see everybody again. Uh, so very um, sad yet uh, happy occasion uh, that we're talking about today, obviously with the passing of Don Person, uh, an amazing volunteer in our community, uh, started a lot of programs. I'll, I did send a memo out. I'm going to kind of walk through that a little bit so we have some of that on record. We are um, uh, working on the recommendations that comes to council for approval to rename the senior center after Don to honor him and all the work that he's done uh, tire tirelessly through our community. Um, to say volunteer is totally synonymous with Don. He did so much that people don't even know about. And some of the things that I listed doesn't cover everything that he provided to our citizens. In the memo, I, I noted that um, he was a huge supporter of our senior center and our seniors. Uh, every time there was an opportunity to provide additional funding or ideas for capital projects to fund those as well to help uh, improve the senior center and the activities of our seniors, uh, Don was at the front of the line constantly being an advocate for that. Um, a lot of you know that he also coordinated um, senior uh, activity center Thanksgiving dinners for 27 years and a lot of us along with city staff, uh, Rotary members, um, volunteered right alongside of him, but for 27 years, he provided 250 meals to the seniors, plus an additional 250 take-home meals. So it was uh, it was a passion of his, and I know a lot of ours that um, those of us that participated, it was just, it was amazing. He was a founding member of our Renton River Days and was on the board for 13 years, a big advocate for that. He was one of the um, initiators, if you will, of the neighborhood program provided um, a lot of those of you that were out to our neighborhood picnics, um, that was throughout the community, all of our different neighborhoods, um, he catered all of those. Uh, one of the things that some people might not know is that he developed a lot of uh, relationships with food distributors, distribution centers um, in and around Renton and a little bit outside of Renton as well. Obviously with his catering background, he did have some of those relationships, but provided uh, food, overages, if you will, that maybe were um, additional orders that weren't picked up, but they would, he would then coordinate with the community services department at the time to deliver them to Center of Hope so the reach families could have um, additional food and, and things to help support that program. Um, he also, he along with city staff, but he also catered our day of service events. Um, I could go on forever and these were all, I'm going to get choked up again, these were all volunteer things that he did. And, and all of us were happy to join in and, and have fun alongside of him. You could recognize his laugh from like a half a mile away. And we all appreciated that. Um, this process is we have a policy, the city has a policy called the facilities um, uh, naming policy. So we are following those procedures right now, um, which the staff met with the senior advisory committee they formally have to make the recommendation as well. They jumped in with both feet and they were super supportive of that, which was a, a memo I provided to council as well. Um, so after getting that recommendation, uh, we are looking towards council or for council to do um, sign the committee report and approve us to continue down the process. We pre preliminarily met with the family um, on the, this possibility that we were coming for. They are over the top on this. Um, I know we had a couple questions too. We don't, it, in the memo, we don't have a specific name just yet. We have quite a few choices, but we're gonna work with the family on that. Um, and then that comes back to mayor and council for approval or edits or whatever, but um, it'll come back to this group so that you can provide approval. So 
Um, with that, um, it's my honor to be able to bring this to you guys. Um, our honor as a city, but um, I'm hoping that the committee will sign off on the report and we can move forward with this process. Um, with any questions? Uh, not a question, but definitely a comment. Um, <clears throat> so when I got elected to city council, I had the pleasure of sitting next to Don until he retired, um, going on Don's tours, doing all that. And you, would you talk about the things you talked about? Just the tip of the iceberg of the things that he did for the city of London that people didn't know about. The senior luncheon at Riverdays right. catered that like- 300 plus yes. people. Yes. And, and with a with a, a smile and glee and just happy to serve and to do whatever. I mean, this city would be now I'm getting children, a much, 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 much. It's a great place now, but if we had more done persons, I can only imagine. I mean, he was gracious, uh, always giving. Um, I remember talking to him about some of the food distributors that he would get in contact with to give food for the city of Hope, or he would, oh, I've got to go to cash and carry. They're holding, they're holding some food, but I need to pick it up so I can take it to the center of Hope. Yeah. No one knew he was doing that stuff. That was just stuff that he would just be like, he would just do out of the kindness of his big heart. I mean, to me, <clears throat> this is the easiest thing I've done since I've been on council. I see Ruth has her hand up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, Mr. President, <laughs> I am Laurita. Anyway, uh, I could not agree more with, with Council Member uh, Ed Prince. Uh, what an honor to be able to serve with uh, Council Member Don Person. Uh, and one of the things that I remember the most, that, and, and, and since already uh, Council Member Prince said it, this was just the type, the, the tip of the iceberg, what you mentioned, Kelly, because it's impossible to mention all the good things and incredible things that he did, not just as a council member, but volunteer himself, himself full time to, to the city of Brenton, uh, was um, when you mentioned coordinating the Thanksgiving dinner. A, uh, a lot of people don't realize that it was just not coordinating. He was the one who at four o'clock in the morning was cooking the ham <laughs> and the turkey. And, uh, and he didn't laugh until all the dishes were washed. And uh, I can see that in the audience is his granddaughter, Alexis. And since Alexis was able to walk, she was the one who was delivering the, the, the rolls on the dinners for the Thanksgiving. And he always uh, brought his family uh, to serve the dinners for seniors. Um, and as a, a member of the Rotary Club, always make sure that there were funds uh, to be able to subsidize uh, these and many other programs for seniors. As well as Council Member Prince, this is the easiest vote for me to, 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 to make. And, um, and, uh, and I know that whatever he is right now, he is just smiling at us because he will never want this kind of recognition because he has that level of humbleness. But, uh, but it's something that I, I think is the right thing to do because he deserved that and more. Thank you. Any other questions or comments or anything? Couldn't agree more. All right, good. So I have got a committee report here. The Community of Whole recommends concurrence and staff recommendations to approve and move forward with the city facility renaming process for the Renton Senior Activity Center to honor Don Person as established in policy 600-04. Any issues with the fact that I signed this report? I don't think so. All right. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so that was all we had on the agenda. This is the fastest cow we've ever had. We are adjourned. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ryan. Ryan's. Name oh, I was. I was just to say, maybe it was. It was too easy. Maybe I didn't need to to hand this one over. I was. I was afraid of the hybrid thing. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for taking over for me. No worries, buddy. Thank Take care. You. See you a bit.